<laughs> Wasabi, new goons, and welcome to my channel, a safe space for lovers of model kits, toys, and collectibles, where we can all share in our admiration for the things we could or couldn't have growing up. Today on Ramses Reviews, we've got something special for you. A few weeks ago, I was browsing the internet, looking for a new figure to add to my collection. Unsure of the amount I wanted to spend, as well as unsure of the selections that I had to choose from. The choices were hard. I kept wrestling between a Mezco toy or a SH Figure Arts. And I looked at figure after figure after figure until in the process, I actually stumbled upon this guy from a little, well, I shouldn't say little, a relatively new brand, I guess, from China that's allowed to put out legitimate licensed marble collectible figures. ZD Toys, known for their wide array of LED light up Iron Men in the vein of MCU film appearances, as well as their non LED light up Iron Men. Unfortunately, his, uh, I haven't charged him in his while, so his battery's gonna not be as bright, but uh, I guess I can light him up for you. Oh, yay, he's lit up, woo! So if you're looking for an Iron Man that's covering a majority of the suits from Iron Man through Endgame, then this line has got you covered. There's not gonna be in scale with Marvel Legends though, cause I think these run around seven inches tall. And you know what, I got you. Yeah, like I said, they're not gonna run in scale, but uh, still looks good. Now it wasn't an easy choice picking this one. I wrestled with multiple models before I finally landed on the Mark 43. I overanalyzed and overanalyzed, and I was looking, oh, do I want the Mark IV? Do I want the Mark uh, 50? Do I want this? Do I want that? And finally, I settled on the Mark 43 just because it's one of my favorite, you know, MCU Iron Man suits. And man, when I say this thing is truly exquisite, it's truly exquisite. If you're looking for a bridge between figures, if you're not quite trying to spend the Hot Toys money, but you don't want to spend marvel legends money this might be the good in between depending on which line and which figure you get if we're being honest the level of detail on something like this is not comparable to a a, a marvel legends like this this kind of tops it i mean it even has the led function that makes that knocks that out of the park i mean you can get the base models that aren't led and that's where i kind of made the mistake where I got the LED unit first, so now I don't want any of the non-LED unit models. Like sure, they're cheaper and you're not gonna spend as much on them, but they don't look as cool because they don't really give off that real Iron Man like, you know, light lit up arc reactor. Now pricing on this thing tends to vary. With there only really being two to three real places you can actually get these figures and it's beyond frustrating trust me i've done my research i hyper fixated for about two and a half to three weeks trying to find where i could get these easily and cheaper than what i was paying for them there aren't many reputable sellers with them being amazon toys wonderland and i think lion rock toys was the other one listed <clears throat> now, from my research, since these are Chinese manufactured, the company only has the license for producing the products over there, making it harder for us to access over here in the States. Amazon might be your smartest bet. Since they cut out the shipping fees and any extra things that might come with international shipping. I mean, but be warned, due to the licensing, Issues, you might see it listed as something weird like Loon Looney Meeg Iron Man Mark 85 with like mock up picks that leave more questions than answers. Just due to like weird licensings, they don't use sometimes the real names, or if they do, they don't use the real pictures, or if they don't, they don't, won't label it with like Marvel or you know, it won't say Iron Man on the like picture of the mock up. Now, depending on the, the model of the suit you're getting, the price could range anywhere between 35 
to $45, depending on if it's an LED unit or not. So if it's an LED unit, it's probably going to range between 43 to 49. And if it's a non LED unit, the average shoot will range between uh, 35 to like 43. But with the, the extra, uh, not the extra, with the, the, um, the Lux models and the, they have like extra, extra, extra like super pack ones, they could range anywhere between 60 to $70. So I know like the Mark 85 has so many features in it. I think that goes for like 74 usually. I mean, sure, you might be paying more for the figure. So yeah, you're gonna be paying $70 for a figure that if you look on another site might have that listed for like 55 to 65, but it's also cutting out what, like 15 to 20 extra dollars of like um, shipping fees. The other one I guess I could recommend would be Toys Wonderland. Most of the YouTubers that I see reviewing these toys mention that as a good place. Um, if you're well versed in sites that translate to like um, HKD. So I'll be honest, I didn't buy this thing for the articulation and you probably didn't either. So like there really isn't much articulation. Now I'll be honest, there's one gripe I have is this left arm. Now everyone who's gotten theirs never seems to have these defects out the box. I do though. So this left arm doesn't like to stay in its position. So the looseness of this arm does bother me. But other than that, it's not like a full gripe. Oh. You get a decent elbow bend. There's no back bend. Decent wrist articulation, full 360. There isn't movement with the hand because it's already in its pose. Decent ab crunch, which does pull up. I mean, it does expose under there, but you do get a good pull up though. Uh, well, you have a good, there's no waist articulation by the way, but you do get a pull down with both legs for extra posability to make him taller. And also like maybe help with like flight poses as well. The knees get a decent bend like that. There's no ankle articulation besides side to side. Like I said, I, you're not buying this for articulation. You're buying this because he looks like Iron Man. You're not buying this because he can pose. So for the LED units, there's a charging port on the back and it's usually covered up by a little, uh, one second piece of plastic like that, revealing a charging port there. It'd be nice if it was USB-C, but I'm not gonna complain because at least it has a built-in charger. I've never used it so though, and that's why unfortunately my LED unit for the video is not as bright as it could be. I'll make sure to charge it and uh, show you guys at the end. So as far as accessories go, you were given two, three, actually, you come, there comes two sets of hands. Ugh. Okay, so you're getting, <laughs> start over. So you're given two open um, inside hands so you can stick flame effects into. I just lost the other one because I, I, I don't know where it is. You're also given two of these effect hands. The other one being right here because I didn't want to take it off, but yeah, you do have two of those. You're given two closed fists. They're pretty basic, look pretty good. Um, I don't hate them. You're also given two of these opened hands, kind of similar to this one, but this one just has like the little guard on the back. And like I said, the other one's already on. You're also given 
four flame effects. They're pretty decent. Not too bad, not too shabby. They're standard with all of these models, so you're gonna get the same one, or well, same four, no matter what. But they're not bad, you know? Pretty decent. Last but not least, you're given a stand. So this is the simple, you know, claw stand to go around his waist, that there. And you're getting this really nice Age of Ultron stand. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So usually whatever suit you get, whatever movie that they were featured in, they will get a, they will get a stand. They all come with stands but they will get a stand that says like Avengers or Iron Man 3, blah, blah, blah. And it usually has a cool little artwork on the bottom. Basic stand, but it, you know, most figures you get like Marvel Legends is not gonna include a stand with it. They do have a line of Spider-Man. They have three suits and most reviews and reception from people have been very lukewarm. So yeah, if you can't tell, if you wanna get any kind of aerial pose with this thing, using this stand, you're going to have to, I would say, uh, put it in like this, where the stand can't bend. F so the way the stand's designed is it, it's meant to like bend forward and extend that way. Cause as you can, well, you can't see, but out of frame, Avengers is actually reading that way so i'm looking at the top of the a so <clears throat> the stand naturally wants to lean that direction i placed it the other way so it naturally wants to or i placed iron man leaning facing the other way so his weight is counteracting the stand from leaning forward so that's the only way i can get an aerial stance unfortunately but a stand like this, like they just kind of include these just so you have a stand. This is probably really only good for like stationary poses and maybe like action poses kind of. But this thing doesn't really have the articulation for that. So that's a whole different conversation. Uh, from, for what you're paying, it's worth the price. If you're going on Amazon, the most you're gonna pay is between 35 and 45 for an entry level uh, suit like this one. Uh, I've already explained that the higher end level ones on there range between 65 and 75. Now, if you were to go somewhere like Toys Wonderland, you're gonna see them listed for like $15. Uh, those are the non-LED ones. I've seen some listed on there for 10. Those are like the really early like Mark I, Mark II suits. Or you'll see some listed like for 25. Those are like the average LED ones. And then like you'll see some listed for 35 and like 45 to 55 for the highest end suit. But then again, what you're getting here is a movie accurate suit, not perfect. And if you're paying for the LED unit like myself, unfortunately his LED, I, I need to charge him. And I can't find a charger that actually fits in that little slot in the back. For accessories, they range from a wildly generous amount. You get four flame effects. I have a fourth, I just can't use it because the arm, like I said, the hand I wanna use, um, I don't know what happened to it. So I'm left with only being able to use one hand effect. And unfortunately the hand effect I can use is in the weak arm. So the arm has to kind of be balanced like that or it swings. That's just mine. No, I, like I said, I haven't seen anyone else have this problem. I mean, but what's not the like here? A free flight stand with artwork from whichever movie your suit is from. You're given three extra sets of hands and then one pair will, will feature holes in the middle for the flame effects and the feet all come with flame uh, holes on the bottom for flame effects. This is more than you get in most Marvel Legend packs. You get what? Maybe two fists and a and a, and a random like effect of their power. And sometimes not even that, like the, I paid what? I paid $42 for this and it came with a stand, um, a light up chest, movie accurate details or as close as it can be, decent paint job. Um, sculpt is pretty good. It looks like a man in a suit. Like it doesn't look like 
two proportion weirdly and big, you know what I mean? And three extra sets of hands on top of the hands that are already featured on it. And it stands seven inches tall. So it's a little bit taller than most Marvel Legends. So it's not gonna scale with them properly, and I showed you that earlier in the video, but it is going to look good in most of your collection with whatever you have it next to. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope it was informative and I hope it gave any information you didn't have going into this. I hope it helped answer the questions you might have about this figure. Um, if and like always, if you could like, share, and follow, anything helps us grow. Um, your support is what's going to help this channel get what it needs to be. So thank you. Have a good day. Wow. Can you believe we made it to the end of this video? I mean, who needs Netflix when you've got entertainment like this? If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and smash, no, destroy that like button. And hey, if you're feeling generous, why not hit the share button and spread the love? Bye.